Guys, what's up? It's your girl Jamila, and welcome back to my laboratory. So I decided to participate in Heat Transfer's Warehouse Garment Decoration Contest and show you guys how to layer heat transfer vinyl at the same time. I'll have everything I use linked in the description box below. And if you like this video, you learned something new, give your girl a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Y'all, let's just go ahead and jump right in it. So the file I'm using gives me the option to... Um, import my designs individually in a zip file or they have it all bundled together so i just went ahead and downloaded the, the bundle and i just uploaded that into cricut design space so let's just go ahead and upload that into our canvas okay so here's our design let's just go ahead and zoom out and again, like I said, they gave us the option to upload all of these individually, but you know, I can work with this. So first thing I'm going to do is just click on this and I see that it's all grouped together. So we're just going to go ahead and ungroup it. And then I can just easily pull, you know, what images out that I want to use. So this to me was just easier and faster than just uploading everything individually. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. So I have everybody that I want to use and I'm just going to highlight these and then delete them. So I'm just going to kind of change everybody to make sure they're the same color. So they can all be cut on the same mat. So I'm putting this on to a gym bag, right? So I'm going to grab a shape. shape I'm going to grab my square and I'm going to change the dimensions of this square to the dimensions of the gym bag and I'm just going to kind of use this as like a template on what my gym bag looks like so that I can place my images on there so I have my square and let's go ahead and grab our characters I know I want Tina front and center uh, she's in the back right now. So we're just going to go up to a range and hit send to front. And we're going to change her height to, so the height of my bag is about 18 inches. So let's make Tina about 9 inches. And I left this locked so it auto adjusted for me, right? So it's 9 inches um, height with 4 inches width. Oh, I never grouped Louise back together so I'm just going to highlight all her pieces and mm, yeah let's put Louise down there let's make Louise about four inches in height maybe even five yeah that looks good so I'm just going to kind of make all the other characters about five inches in height awesome so we have all of that we can go ahead and delete this square because it was just giving us kind of like a visual and let's just go ahead and hit make it go ahead and mirror every so my third mat and my fourth mat are like similar in color so we don't need all these mats right i have 13 mats so let's try and make it as little as possible so we're going to take this uh going to take this mat highlight the item hit these three dots and hit move object and we're going to move it to this mat and then just move that over and bam and we're going to make sure we mirror this and i'm just going to go through with all the mats and kind of do that because six and seven also look similar in color as well so let me just go ahead and do that and then we'll start okay so i have everything mirrored i have all my colors the same so we'll just go ahead and hit continue and I just like to leave my mat on custom. So my dial is on custom. I'm just going to do glitter iron on with default pressure. Now we'll just go ahead and cut everything out.
So I just wanted to go over some of the vinyl I'll be using in this video with you guys. This right here is the Caesar Twinkle. It is red. It was a little bit hard to cut. I had to have my Cricut on custom um, glitter vinyl with more pressure. It was a little hard to cut because it is super thick, but it's easy to weed. And we have this blue, y'all. It is so pretty. It's the Deco Film Soft Metallic. Uh, cuts and weeds regularly weeds great cuts and weeds great but it is a code peel so you cannot peel the transfer paper off this until your item is completely cool then we have the caesar sparkle buttercup um this one just cuts ease cuts weeds and presses like any other normal vinyl just like the rest of those colors okay so i just wanted to put that in there for you guys so you wouldn't have any trouble um links for everything will be in the description box of this video so once everything gets cut we're just going to go ahead and weed it and get our layers in in orders just to make it a little bit easier to press so for this project um heat transfer warehouse provided me with a drawstring book bag it's actually 100 percent polyester so i could have sublimated on this but no the challenge was to use vinyl <laughs> so i'm just gonna fold it in half and it's just so i can get a, a crease line in the middle just so i can have my design centered once i have everything centered you know we're gonna put tina to start the show in the middle and everybody else around and we're just gonna tack down this layer now since we are layering vinyl we're not going to press it. Each layer we do, we're not going to press it for the full 15 seconds, okay? We're just going to press it long enough. It's going to be a 305 degrees, but we're just going to press it long enough for the vinyl to come off the transfer sheet. So that's usually about three seconds, just depending on what kind of heat press you're using. So black goes down first because when you layer vinyl, vinyl does shrink. So the black just helps minimize any like gaps there may be in the vinyl because once you start layering, you'll see that some things don't line up exactly, but that's okay because you know, the black on the bottom helps cover that up. And I just have my computer, um, my design up on my computer to use as a reference because once you get all these pieces and stuff, I was like, child, I don't know what goes with what i was like whose eyeball is this right <laughs> so just having the project up on the screen was just super helpful and you're basically just going to go ahead and repeat the same process until we're all done right 305 degrees for about three seconds for each layer and i did the foil the soft film the blue i did that last and i did the caesar twinkle last so once you get to your last layer that's when i did the whole 15 seconds but i made sure i did that soft metallic blue last because like i said it is a cold peel so the garment needed to be completely cool before i could even peel it off the transfer backing and you don't want to um press each of these at for 15 seconds because you can burn the vinyl right we often think that more heat more pressure will make the htv more secure but no you're going to burn off the adhesive that helps the vinyl actually stick to you know whatever it is you're using and if you've ever come across where your vinyl is lifting or it's like washing off that could be the issue your heat may be too high and you've actually burned the vinyl which is causing it not to stick and each time I go to press a new layer, I do cover my design with a Teflon sheet because you never want your heat press to directly touch your heat transfer vinyl because it will melt it and you'll ruin your project. And if you're enjoying this video so far, you've learned something new, please give your girl a thumbs up. Don't forget to share the video with your friends. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you would like to help the laboratory grow, I do have a PayPal donation link in the description box. $1, $2, $3, $5, it doesn't matter. All donations are appreciated and they help me create content like this to help you guys learn how to master your machines, right? And you can also go ahead and click the link and grab you some merch, grab a t-shirt, make a donation, share the video, subscribe to my channel. All forms of support are truly appreciated. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see you later.